you know, she can design. She can design this thing. She can probably get in here and make something. I'm getting mom a 3D printer for her birthday this year. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. <laughs> and just to see what happens, right, at this point. Because if she knows AutoCAD, that should transfer over to something like this pretty I don't know, easily. Like, I don't know. Can you, can you speak to that at all? I, I know you're kind of. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's, it has, it is, I mean, much like AI, it has found its tendrils into like this kind of explosion of technology has found its tendrils into so many places where time was not too long ago that if you want to model something like that barrier to entry is pretty huge. Mm -hmm. uh, you are going to be looking at AutoCAD. You're going to be looking at Fusion 360 is a, is a relatively new thing in, in the, in the big picture sense. Uh, AutoCAD product, which is much more approachable, but it's still like fairly technical. You kind of have to know what you're doing to some degree, uh, or like it only gets worse from there. Uh, SolidWorks. Uh, these are also applications that cost somewhere between four and ten thousand dollars for a yearly license. Yeah. And uh, but because the like as much as I uh, kind of poke fun at people wanting to make these tchotchkes uh, out of their 3D printer, like that's the momentum that pushes the industry forward and makes it a profitable enterprise for companies like Bamboo and companies like Fusion 360 to say, hey, you know what? You get a free license. If you're just a maker, you can just have that and also, because we want you to use the product. And also introduces them to be making something bigger eventually down the line too, right? 